Okay, so while blood may have different properties than water, I think this image kind of gives a good idea of what this is all about here. We're looking at cast off blood stain pattern interpretation. Think about it as we see the woman here with her hair in the water, how that cast off, how that may impact where the blood is going to be found and what pattern it's going to leave when it impacts a surface. So first off, wave cast off. The tail of the elongated st of stain points in the direction of travel. So that's important there. We're just looking at determination of where did that blood travel? Where's, where's the direction of its travel? The tail of the wave cast off points back to the parental um, apparent drop, I should say. So there are wave cast off. So here we see kind of that angle and impact. Where is it going? Where is it traveling to? What type of pattern is that going to leave? And we see evident here. So it kind of gives that kind of walkthrough of wave cast off is going to be moving in a direction, and that's what's going to ultimately happen. And you're going to see kind of that was the direction of travel there. And you can see the, per the parent drop and the wave cast off here, again, pointing in the direction of the travel of that blood. It can be very important when looking at a crime scene, you see it on a wall or a ceiling, that can really help you determine the direction. Let's look at an example of, for example, a downswing of a hammer. Or here we have a hammer, and we have a downswing coming in contact with the person's head here, and causing a uh, pooling of blood. And then we have the hammer coming back and as it comes back, we're noticing this is where the cast off of blood is occurring. So first we have the first blow causing the bleeding. Subsequent blows can contaminate the weapon with blood. The blood is cast off tangentially to the arc of the upswing uh, or backswing. Pattern and intensity depend on the type of weapon, the amount of blood on the weapon, and the length of the arc, as we can see here. So again, this is a great example of seeing how that is going to change, how that cast off is going to be found on the ceiling, how that's going to determine the point at which the impact occurred and sadly where that victim was standing. The ceiling view, so if we kind of look at it as we look from a ceiling view, overhead swing of the, of the blood uh, metal bar, we're looking here at that single kind of pretty much a inline pattern here. And if you look really closely, we had to tell again the direction uh, the, of that blood. 